In this video, let us learn to construct a triangle whose perimeter and two base angles are given. So here is a question. Perimeter of a triangle PQR is equal to 14 centimeters. To construct the triangle PQR in which angle P equals 45 degrees and angle Q equals 60 degrees. So to draw triangle PQR, let us follow the following steps. The first step is draw a line segment XY equals 14 centimeters, which is equal to the perimeter of the given triangle. Name this, which is X and Y. The second step is to construct angle YXD equal to 45 degrees. Angle YXD, which should be equal to 45 degrees. So, to construct a 45 degrees, if you notice 45 degrees is exactly half of 90 degrees. We first have to construct 90 degrees and bisect 90 degrees to get 45 degrees. So, here we go. So, with X as centered and convenient radius, draw an arc such that it cuts the line XY at 1. Let's use numbers here, at 1. It cuts at 1. Now, with 1 as the center and the same radius, cut an arc on the arc that we just drew and name it 2. This next step is with 2 as center, the same radius, cut another arc on the same arc and name it 3. The next step is with 2 as center, draw another arc like this and with 3 as center draw an arc that cuts the arc that we just drew and name it 4. So now join x4 to get 90 degrees. Remember 90 degrees is something that we didn't need but we need 45 degrees so we need to bisect off 45 degrees from 90 degrees. Now let's do that and let's name this point as 5. With 1 as center and radius more than half of the arc 1, 5, draw an arc here. And with 5 as center, cut the arc that we just drew. Name that 6. Join x6 to produce it to d. This is 45 degrees. Now, if you also notice, this 45 degrees is the angle P that is given in the question. The next angle that we have to draw is angle XYE that is equal to 60 degrees, which is the same as angle Q. So to draw 60 degrees with Y as center and convenient radius, draw an arc such that it cuts XY at 7. With 7 as center and the same radius, cut an arc on the arc that we just drew and name it 8. Now join Y8 and produce it to E. This is equal to 60 degrees. The next step is draw the bisectors of the angles YXD and XYE, that is 45 degrees and 60 degrees respectively, and mark their point of intersection as R. So let us now bisect the angles YXD and XYE. So with 1 as center and radius more than half of 1, 2, not 1, 2 exactly, but let me name it 9 here. Radius more than 1, 9, got an arc here. And with 9 as center and the same radius, cut the arc that we just drew. But it's not meeting, so come back to 1 as center and join that arc back again. So now we got the bisector of 45 degrees. So let's name this 10. So join x10. Because the bisector of 60 should meet this line at R. So now let's bisect 60 degrees with 7 as center and radius more than half of 7, 8, cut an arc here, 
and with 8 as center and with the same radius cut an arc on the arc that we just drew. Let's name that 11. Now join y11 and produce it such that it meets the bisector of 45 degrees. It doesn't, so we need to extend the 45 degree line. So it meets here at R. The next step, the perpendicular bisectors of Rx and Ry at P and Q respectively. So now to draw the perpendicular bisector of Rx with R as center and radius more than half of Rx, draw an arc on either side of the line. And with X as center, cut those arcs that we just drew. Now, join them to get the perpendicular bisector of Rx. And this point is P. Now let's find the perpendicular bisector of Ry with, with Y as center and radius more than half of Ry. Let us cut arcs on both sides of the line. And with R as center and the same rate radius, let's cut the arcs that we just drew. Let's join these two arcs to meet at Q. So here is Q. So the final step is join PR and QR to obtain the required triangle PQR. Join PR and QR and here we go, we've obtained the triangle PQR. To identify the triangle PQR, let me use a different color for this. In red, PR QR and PQ. So the sum total of all the lengths of the side should come to 14 centimeters because the question had the data perimeter of the triangle was 14 centimeters. So it measures around 4.6, 4.7, and then RQ measures around 3.9 to 4 centimeters. And the base measures around 5.3. So let us total them now. 5.3, 4, this is 4.7. So 0, 1, so 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14. So here we have 14 centimeters is the sum of the lengths of all the three sides of the triangle. So this is how we construct a triangle when its perimeter and when its base angles are given, 45 degrees and 60 degrees.